Christy Brinkley has claimed that Donald Trump once tried to be for her affections by offering her a ride from New York City to Aspen, Colorado, on his private jet. In an interview with Porter magazine, the 63-year-old model revealed that she and the now U.S. president's paths had crossed numerous times over the years and that they'd even dined together but insisted that she always found him smarmy However, she claims the 71-year-old property tycoon forged ahead with his alleged plans to spend more time with her by inviting the blonde beauty on his jet while he was still married to first wife Ivana and while she was dating rocker Billy Joel. She told the newspaper, One day I was at the Plaza Hotel. My phone rings and this guy goes, Hey, Christy, it's the Donald. I say, hi, Billy, because I was dating Billy at the time. But the voice goes, no, no. It's the Donald. So I say, what's up? And he says, I hear you're leaving for Aspen tomorrow. I am too. I'd like to give you a ride on my private jet. So I reply, thank you, but I have already arranged my flights. So cancel them, was his response, and I say, no thank you. I'm going with friends. I knew he was married, and there he was asking me to go on his plane. He was kind of flirty about it. He was out chasing skirts. According to the report, the trip occurred around the same time that Donald traveled to upscale skiing Haven Aspen and met Marla Maples, who attracted headlines as she became his mistress and subsequent second wife. Donald, whose six-year union with the actress ended in divorce in 1999, went on to marry model Melania in 2005. Christie was openly critical of the businessman's family during his successful run for the White House, backing for his Democratic opponent Hillary Clinton. Days before the November 2016 election, the model took to Instagram to share a shot of his son's Donald Jr. And Eric holding a dead endangered leopard that they had hunted and killed in Africa. The Sports Illustrated model's caption read, Donald Trump's sons who spend their free time killing endangered species are only worthy of our complete disdain. She added, they have also bragged about killing at least one elephant and a 12 crocodile. And in August, she attended the New York City debut of Michael Moore's anti-Trump one-man play The Terms of My Surrender. Two weeks ago, Christie was spotted, attended the Women's March alongside her daughter 19-year-old Sailor Cook in New York City. The two attended the event together to protest some of the decisions Donald Trump has made on the one-year anniversary of his presidency. Sharing a shot of herself with her offspring on Instagram, Christy wrote, It's so awesome to share this with my daughter. I am moved to tears. Wearing a pink ensemble that included a knitted beanie had emblazoned with the word love, she also wrote, Today we march for love. 
equality, human rights, for every person and our environment to be treated with respect and love. It's all about respect and love number one men's merch number no hate number love. She later added, girl power to the people right on. At Women's Merch. Numerous celebrities attended the marches across the country, including Jane Fonda, Chloe Moritz, Common, Amy Schumer, Padma Lakshmi and Amber Tamblyn. Scarlett Johansson, Natalie Portman, Eva Longoria, Nicole Richie and Marsha Gay Harden were among those who took part in the march in Los Angeles. As processions of pink, pussy hats and illustrations asking for him to be impeached made their way through the nation's many cities, Trump ignored their complaints about him and said, beautiful weather all over our great country, a perfect day for all women to march. Get out there now to celebrate the historic milestones and unprecedented economic success and wealth creation that has taken place over the last 12 months. Lowest female unemployment in 18 years. This year, the marches also take on the momentum of the Me Too and Time's Up movements against sexual misconduct which were sparked with allegations against Hollywood heavyweights last year.